I just gave the MR2 a full professional respray in a homemade booth. Let me show you how. Hello and welcome to King of Titan Racing. Today I'm standing inside a makeshift paint booth for giving the MR2 its new coat of colour. The reason I've done this is that great paint is all about great preparation and good conditions. And ultimately it isn't that complicated a formula. You need a dustproof environment, you need lighting and you need ventilation. So I'm going to start by showing you how I built the room and then we'll take a look at all the kit we're going to use to give this its new colour. Let's get to work. Now that you've seen how I set up the room, let me explain how it works as a system. So I've got the airflow that comes in, around and out. I've got super clean surfaces on the walls and the ceiling and the floor. That's where I unfolded them at the last minute after I'd actually set up the whole room. The pegs I've got around the edges as well are super strong and that's just for the overlaps, just to make sure there's no potential airflow coming in. I've then got ropes going across the ceiling as well to keep the ceiling up, but also something that I can hang things from while I'm painting them. And finally, this light system over here is a, first of all, it's super bright, which is great, but it also provides just enough heat to keep a nice room temperature in here, which is the perfect condition for what I'm painting. So now let's take a look at the kit. Picking a system to paint the car is quite a complicated decision because there's loads of moving parts. And if you don't know what you're doing and it's first time like myself, I chose to work with SGS compressors because they make things really simple. They do all in one bundles. I gave them a call, spoke for what I'm gonna be doing and we put together this set. So I've got a 100 litre tank which sprays at 14.6 CFM. I don't actually know what that means in the real world, but I've been told by a local paint shop I consulted with, I needed something that sprayed at least 12, so I chose all of this. I then got this high velocity, low pressure gum, which is what you need for painting cars. I've got a nice big hopper on there, so I'm not gonna run out of paint midway through a run. And a water catch, this is vital because compressed air has water particles in it. And if you don't catch them, they will mix with your paint and they will ruin your shot. Finally, all of this means I need some pretty serious protection for my lungs. So I've gone with a dual filter full face mask with P3s on there. I don't need an air fed mask because I'm only using 1K paint. If I was using 2K, I would need an air fed mask. And that's it for the setup. The boots ready, the compressor's ready, the paint's ready to mix. So now it's time to get on with the job. If you want to see that video, Click the link up here, and as always, thank you so much for watching. It makes a huge difference to us when you like and subscribe. And leave a comment down below if you're thinking of doing this. You know, reach out to us. We're always open to talking about what we're doing. And as always, we'll see you soon.